Hallelujah. Amen. My, my, my. What we talked about last week, we talked about finding our song in the valley. Oh, Amen. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm going to go back in that direction today, but going to go a little bit farther down the road. Hallelujah. My, my, my. We talked, and I want to spend all the time covering what we talked about last week. Get a CD or cassette, and we'll be happy to give that to you. But um, I do want to touch on a thing or two that we touched on last week. I don't want to hold you too long since it's Mother's Day. Maybe you got to take Mama to get her some dinner or something or whatever the case may be. But we started out talking about Peter and how that Jesus turned to him in Luke, the 22nd chapter, and said that Satan has desired to have you. Yeah. Amen. And that he wanted to possess him. Amen. Right. That's what he was telling him. He wants to possess you. He wants to have you. He wants to own you. Yes, Amen. Yeah. That's what the devil wants for you. He wants to own you. Amen. Amen. He ain't satisfied just barring you. He wants to bind you. He wants to own you. That he may sift you right. as wheat. Amen. Right. And Jesus makes the, this statement in the 22nd chapter and the 32nd verse. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. Yeah. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And like we talked about, we all know what happened to Peter. And we all know how, what he went through and how that he came back. And when he came out of that, he was one powerhouse for God. Amen? Right. Hallelujah. On fire. Full of the Holy Ghost and not ashamed to proclaim the name of Jesus to all of Jerusalem. Amen? Not to just all of Jerusalem, but to all of the world. But the thing that we zeroed in, the thing that we zoomed in on there was the fact that Jesus told Peter he's going to go through something. And instead of Jesus praying that Peter wouldn't have to go through it, Jesus prays that Peter's faith would not fail him. And I made this statement last week that if I wasn't licensed through this ministry, I might get my license yanked from me, but it's not God's will for you to live on the mountain. All right. Amen? Amen. You might think otherwise if you listened to a TV preacher this morning and he told you, God just wants His best for you. Well, He does. But God's best and what we think is His best do different things. Right. It ain't best that you stay on the mountain all the time. It's not best that you lay in the bed all the time. Amen? Your muscles get weak. Yeah. Amen? Same way with your faith. Unless your faith is put to the test, unless your faith is tried, unless you work it, it don't get stronger. That's it. Same way with your muscles. Amen? That's it. it hurts. Right. Amen? It hurts while you're lifting weights or while you're exercising or while you're doing whatever it is you do to work your muscles, but when you're through, you're stronger because of the work that you did. Amen? Yeah. Same way with your faith. And when we realize that the thing that has came into our life or the thing that we're going through didn't come to stay, it came to pass. Amen? Right. It didn't come to kill us, it came to make us stronger. Right. When we begin to realize some of these little nuggets, amen, yeah. then we can begin to find the song in our valley. And not a song of gloom and despair, but a song of praise and a song of worship. Amen? Right. That regardless where we're at, whether we're out on the mountaintop or whether we're in the valley, we are singing the praises of Zion and lifting up the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's what we talked about. That's right. good, ain't it? <laughs> Talking about having a song in your valley. It's not God's will that you be on the mountaintop all the time. Amen? Right. Hallelujah. My, my, there's an old song that says, Trials come to make me stronger. And when I can't go on any longer, gratitude keeps me hanging on. Amen? Right. If I'll only be true and faithful, Jesus is going to sit me at His banqueting table. Amen? Right. Hallelujah. If you'll hold on, amen, yeah. my, 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 I realize today that you may be going through what some people term as hell on earth. And someone made that statement to me the other day, but really, that is one of the most silliest statements that someone can make to say that they've been through hell because nothing you have went through in this life compares to what hell is really like. Amen? Man. We take it lightly God. sometimes and God. say, I've been through hell. No, you haven't. Amen? God. You ain't been through hell yet. Amen? God. If you don't straighten up, get a hold of Jesus and put your faith where it belongs, you might wind up going there, but you don't go through hell. Come on. No. That's true. That's a one-way ticket. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. There ain't no coming out on the other side of that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There ain't no coming out of that. Come on. Hallelujah. So you ain't been through hell. You may you've been through some trials. Right. Every one of us. It'd be ridiculous for me today to pray, God, please don't ever let Brother Bill go through anything else. Come 
Let his life be nothing but great and wonderful things and never to face another trial, never to face another test. Well, it sounds good, don't it, Brother Bill? Amen. It sounds good. But that won't put no meat on your bones. That won't get your faith strong. Amen. That ain't what's best for you. It's not best for you that everything goes your way. Right. Then you get spoiled. Amen. The Bible says when Israel waxed fat, what did she do? She kicked. She complained. Yeah. She murmured. She rebelled. Right. She came against God when she waxed fat. Amen. Come on. Trials, my, 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 will come into our lives and are allowed to come into our lives to make us stronger, not to kill us, right. not to destroy us. Amen. Yeah. James said, well, first let me give you 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. This, this can be summed up with this one scripture. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, give thanks. What this is telling us is that no matter what the trial, no matter what the test, we're supposed to have a thankful heart. Mm -hmm. Like Brother Slee said this morning, amen? We're supposed to have a gratitude or a thankfulness, amen? No matter where we're at, no matter what we're going through. James would say in the first chapter of the second verse, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptations. Amen? Count it all joy when you go through trials. Why? Because knowing this, he goes on to say, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire. Now he's talking about being mature. Amen? Growing pains. Perfect and entire. Wanting for nothing. Wanting nothing. Amen? In order for you to grow in the Lord, it's going to take some adversity. In order for you to get strong in Jesus and strong in God, it's going to cause you, it's going to take you going through some things in your life. Come on. Peter would say, and we read these scriptures last week, I'm just trying to hit them and then move on because i got something to give you this morning that's going to turn you inside out. 1 Peter 1 and 7, For the trial, that the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Amen? Listen to what he says here. The trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold. What's he comparing this gold to? He's talking about your faith. Your faith is more important than gold this morning. Your faith is more important than you not going through something this morning. It ain't so much important that I pray that Brother Scott goes through nothing as it is that I pray God when he does go through something and he will go through something, don't let his faith fail. Amen? Let his faith become stronger. Let him come out better off than he was when he went into the trial. Amen? When he comes out on the other side of the valley, let him come out stronger and, 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 and a little bit taller in the spirit and a little bit more spiritually mature. Amen? It's not so important today that I pray that you never go through anything. That's really a futile prayer. But it's important today that I pray God don't let their faith fail. When they come out on the other side, let them still be holding to your nail scarred hand. Amen? Yeah. And that's what Peter's saying. The trying of your faith, which is much more precious than gold. What would Job say? When he has tried me, I will come forth as gold. What was he talking about? He was talking about the testing and the trying of his faith the trial and the battle that he was going through and when he come out on the other side he believed even though under some of his murmurings and his complainings and maybe even some doubt he had there he believed down deep whenever the rubber met the road that his redeemer was alive and when he came out on the other side he was going to be stronger for what he was going through when he has tried me I will come forth as gold so while I'm in the fire Lord Jesus, while I'm in the fire, yeah. take out some of my old complaining. Yeah. Take out some of the old bad attitudes. Take out some of the old flesh that I've been trying to get rid of, that I've been hating and not dealing with. The things that I've been allowing, Lord, take them out. If I want to be in the fire, don't let it destroy me. Let it make me purer than I was when I went in. Oh, Amen. Amen. Oh. So Peter, who knows something about the trying of your faith, yeah. He says, The trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold yeah. that perisheth. Though it be tried with fire, Amen. might be found unto praise and honor and Amen. glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on. Oh, my, 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 my. And that scripture right there is befitting since we started off Amen. with Peter being the one that Jesus turned to yeah. and said, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. And last week we talked about Jehoshaphat. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. That'd probably be my name if I looked it up in Hebrew. <laughs> Je 
Jehoshaphat. And we talked about Jehoshaphat's valley. And we learned how that the battle was not his, but the valley was. Yeah. You learn how that over there in the book of Joel, it calls a place called Jehoshaphat's Valley. Amen. And even though some scholars disagree on whether he was talking about the exact valley that we read of last Sunday, or whether he was just talking about the victory that was wrought in the valley for Jehoshaphat, either way, it gave him claim to the valley. Amen. It was Jehoshaphat's Valley. I told you last week, I tell you again this morning, it's time for us to claim our valley. Amen. Yeah. Say, this is my valley. This is my trial. I will not go under. I will come out on top and I will be stronger when I come out on the other side because this, this trying is not to destroy me but to make me stronger. You see, the silversmith doesn't take the silver and put it into the fire to destroy it, Brother Bill. He puts it in there to make it more pure, to make it better, to make it a higher grace. Same way with gold, amen? When it's tried, when it's put into the fire, when it's put into the furnace, it's not to destroy the gold. Right. To make it more pure. Come on. All the trials that you go through, through it all, amen, right. is to make you stronger, to make you better. Amen. Amen. You don't show your love for your children by never disciplining them or never, you know, allowing everything to go their way. Right. Because all you do then is get one big spoiled baby that the first trial that they hit, they're going to throw a hissy fit and give up. Mm -hmm. yeah. We learn through yeah. adversity, we learn through trial. We learn through the things that we go through, our faith becomes stronger. And we learn that during this battle that Jehoshaphat went into, the Lord said, you ain't going to fight this battle. Stand still and see me work. Jehoshaphat sends singers out. And the Bible says as the singers went out and began to sing that the Lord sets ambushments against the enemies that Jehoshaphat and his army had. All right. Basically what they did was turned on each other and killed everybody. <laughs> so they found a song in their, oh, we talked about Paul and Silas, Brother Bill. Yeah. How that at midnight, they're in prison in the Philippian jail. They found a song. Amen. Oh. We talked about, oh, I hope you've been singing this week. How many people have been going through something? Amen. <laughs> Have you been singing? Yeah, Brother Slee said, when are you not? Have you, have you been singing this week? Amen. Have you been singing the blues or have you been singing the praises? Amen. Paul and Silas sitting there in jail. And you know, if you was here last week, yeah, hallelujah. We talked about them. There they sit. The prisoners are listening to all the cussing and the fussing and complaining and the, and the murmuring and all the things that was going on around. And all of a sudden they hear a sound that you ain't supposed to hear in jail. Yeah. Amen. They'd heard prayers before. Right. No doubt there have been other guys in there that fell on their knees. Oh, God, get yeah. me out of this yeah. terrible place. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas just didn't pray. They begin to sing praises to yeah. God. Oh, hallelujah. They begin to sing praises to God. Amen. Oh, listen to me. If you want to confound the enemy and, 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 and uh, cause him to be confused, whenever he comes by where you're at thinking he's going to hear you moaning the blues yeah. and he hears you saying, Great yeah. is the Lord yeah. and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That there does something. Amen. Yeah. That does something. He ain't prepared for that. I can't deal with this. Have you ever heard somebody say, I can't deal with this? So they leave. Amen. He can't deal with you lifting up. Oh, because when, oh, when you begin to lift him up, when you begin, especially when you're going through it. Honey, every one of us this morning don't have any trouble. When we get on the mountaintop and everything's going good, we don't have no trouble shutting down Mahatta and jumping a pew. Amen. But it's down in the valley, in the trial and temptation, when we begin to lift up our voice and say, Thank you, Jesus. I don't understand it, but I know that I know that I know if I hold on to your nails, hands. I got faith in you. I'm going to come out on the other side stronger than I was when I went in. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So you can find your song.